Good day, Grade 12s. Welcome to this beautiful day. Um, I hope you've had an awesome day and that you've enjoyed your public holiday. And I hope that you are ready to do some work. And we're going to carry on doing trigonometry. And we started yesterday looking at um, some basic 2D trigonometry. And today we're going to carry on with that. So it says A is the highest point on the vertical tower AT. Okay, and the reason we're doing the 2D trig is remember, if you remember, we learned compound angles and double angles, and then we spoke about the sine rule, the cos rule, and the area rule. So what we're looking at at the moment is we're looking at applying all that information that we've learned already, just for the record. So it says A is the highest point on the vertical tower AT. So there's your vertical tower AT. It says at point N on the tower, which is n meters from the top of the tower. There's that little n, in case you can't see it, that's a little n. A bird has made its nest. So the bird has made its nest over here. Okay, yes, a nest. And there is a bird. Yes, I know I can't draw to save my life. Okay, right, so there's a bird. And the angle of inclination from G to point A is alpha. So if I'm standing at G and I look up at A, then the angle of inclination is alpha. But if I look at the bird's nest, then my angle of inclination is beta. Right. So the first thing they ask us to do is express angle AGN, AGN, this one here, in terms of alpha and beta. Okay, well that's pretty easy because if this whole thing is alpha and this little part is beta, then do you agree this teeny bit is going to just be alpha minus beta, okay? Because the whole of this is alpha and just this bit is beta, so this tiny bit is alpha minus beta. Okay, doable. Next it says express angle A in terms of alpha and or beta. So they want us to express angles A in terms of alpha and or beta. Hmm. Okay, so if we look in the big triangle, okay, if we look in the big triangle A, G, and T, do you see that this is a right angle triangle? So that there is 90. The whole of this is alpha. So then it's quite easy to find A because we can say that angle A equals 180 degrees minus 90 plus alpha because there's a 90 in the whole of this is alpha, which is 180 degrees minus 90 minus alpha, which is 90 minus alpha degrees. Okay, so there you go. There we've expressed it in terms of A. Right, next question. It says, show the height of the nest from the ground, H, can be determined by the formula N cos alpha sine beta over sine alpha minus beta. Okay, so let's just have a look at what they're talking about here. They're mentioning cos of alpha. So we're looking at the whole of that angle. They're mentioning sine of beta which is that little angle there. And they're talking about sine of alpha minus beta, which is this angle here. Okay. So, and they mention N. N. Okay, N. Right. So, do you agree that we need to somehow get from this triangle here, which has got the little N into it, into this triangle here, G, and T, which has got the H. So we are saying we need to get from this triangle here, um, that triangle there, into, from that triangle, into this triangle here, which has got the H. And do you see that this line here, this GN, is my bridge? is a line that can get me from this little triangle that's got the N in it to the bigger triangle which has got the H in it. So I'm thinking about 
either I must use the sine rule or the cos rule. Obviously not the error rule because they haven't asked us. But if you think about this, here is sine of alpha minus beta. And that angle there is alpha minus beta. So you can see that they're hinting to us that we should use the sine rule. So if I do that, if I say I have got n over sine of alpha minus beta, Right, then what is opposite to the bridge side is this little angle here, which we worked out to be 90 minus alpha. So it's going to equal the bridge line, which is gn, over sine of 90 minus alpha. So let's solve for this gn. So we can say that gn is equal to, I'm just rearranging, it becomes n sine 90 minus alpha all over sine alpha minus beta. Now at this point, I'm going to go and compare what I have with what I need. Okay, do you agree I've got the N? I've got sine of alpha minus beta, which is quite pretty. And then I've got sine of 90 minus alpha and I want a cos alpha. But what's nice about this? This is a co-ratio to that. Therefore, I can rewrite this as N cos alpha over sine of alpha minus beta. Isn't that pretty? So now I've already got all three of these. So now the only thing I need to do is somehow get h with respect to sine beta. And that's quite nice because if you look, and I'm going to make it black, if you look at this triangle here, do you see it's a right angle triangle, right? And we want H, and we've got the hypotenuse GN. So if we look at Sarkatoa, H is the opposite of angle B, and we've got the hypotenuse GN. So we can say that sine of beta is equal to H over gn. It's opposite of our hypotenuse. Therefore, we can say that gn is equal to, no, let's try again. Then we can say that gn sine of beta is equal to h. Okay, gn times sine of beta equals h. Awesome, but gn is this bit here. So we're sorted because therefore we've got h is equal to this bit here, which is n cos alpha sine beta all over sine alpha minus beta. Ta-da! We've just proven it. Yay! So we did it. Okay, so the trick here was to read, look at what you wanted, maybe make a little marks like I did to see what I wanted, and then see how I could get there and realize that we were actually trying to get from this little triangle to the big triangle. And because there was no right angle in this little triangle, I was either looking at the sine rule or the cos rule. Finally, it says, okay, let's just erase everything. If you've got this, and it says, calculate the height and nest h if n equals 10 meters, alpha is 68 degrees, and beta is 40 degrees. Okay, so here's a tip grade 12s. Even if they ask you to prove this, and you can't prove it in the exams, you just can't get it right. It is not a big deal because you can still, well, it's a big deal, but it's not a huge deal, because you can still get marks to this question by doing the next part of this question. So please don't, if this is 4.3, for example, and this is 4.4, and you look at this and you go, I cannot do 4.3, I'm moving on. Don't, leave a gap, and then go look at question 4.4, because 4.4, uses what you could improve. So you can assume that you did prove it, put those numbers in and get those marks. So please don't not do that, okay? Please do these questions. So let's work it out. H is equal to N, which is 10 meters, cos of 68, sine of 40, sorry, all over sine of alpha minus beta, which is going to be 28. So it's sine of 28. And now all we have to do is pop that in our calculator. 
And again, I'm going to stress to you guys that you make sure that it isn't a capital R, yeah, because that's radiance. The reason I stress about this is because of the fact that there are so many of, I think it's a Casio calculator, so for some reason they reset to radians. So you need to be careful. And it's so easy to fix it because most of the calculators have got a little indentation at the back which says reset. And then all you have to do is take a sharp pencil or a pointy pen or even a paper clip and shove it into that little dent and it'll reset and then you won't do that R. If your calculator doesn't have the reset, then go look in your mode sections and go find the option to make this a degree. Okay, so let's do this. It's going to be 10 multiplied by cos 68, close bracket, multiplied by sine of 40, close bracket, equals divided by Sine of 28, sine 28, close bracket, equals 5.13. So the height is 5.13 meters. There you go. Not too bad, hey? Right, let's do another example. So now we're going to move on to 3D trig. So initially these are 3D trig questions and then what I did is that I went and copied a whole bunch of questions out of old exam papers. So some of them might be 2D and some of them might be 3D. And you need to be able to do both because both are examinable in the final exams. So it says D is the top of the tower, okay, with a height of H. And it's got a base a and at its base it's a the triangle abc lies on the ground so this is on the ground and this is sticking up into the air right it says if we know that bc is being little b in length dba 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 is alpha so this is the angle of elevation in other words if you're standing yeah looking up at d we would look up at an angle of alpha uh, DBC, DBC is beta, okay, DCB, DCB is theta, it says show that B sine alpha, okay wait, so let's just go through this and see where we want to be, it's B sine alpha, sine theta, sine of B plus theta, we worry about that, and angle H. I mean length H. So do you agree I want to go from this triangle which has got B and this side here into this triangle here. So I want to move from triangle DCB DCB to triangle DBA to triangle DBA. So therefore I can say that my bridge is going to be let's make it what did I just do? Let's make an orangey color. This is my bridge. My bridge is going to be DB. That's my bridge. Okay. Now you guys, obviously you can use highlighters. In fact, let's just do that. Let's just erase this. And then let's use a little highlighter. Okay, so this here is my bridge. Right, that's my bridge. Okay, so now I need to move from the one triangle into the next one. So let us do that. Oh, sorry, I'm having a fight with the pen. Okay, right, so we're going to move in this triangle. We're going to go from here and we're going to get onto the bridge. Okay, so I'm seeing that I need sine alpha. I'm also seeing that I need sine theta. And then it says sine of beta plus theta. Hmm. But can we work out what this angle is? Yes, we can because that angle is 180 degrees minus theta plus beta. Okay, because of angle sum of triangle. So do you agree that we can say that, we don't have to say in triangle, but do you agree we can say that sine of theta over, I don't know, db, and it doesn't matter which way you do this, is equal, actually, I'll tell you what, because we're trying to find the side, I'm going to put the side at the top. Okay, it doesn't matter, but let's just do that. So I'm going to say db over sine of theta 
is equal to, because we want B, we're going to put B in, B over sine of 180 minus theta plus beta. Right. So therefore, do you agree that DB is equal to B sine theta? But what is sine of 180 minus X? Well, that is obviously just sine of X. So therefore, I can write that as sine of theta plus beta. So that's quite nice because now I've got this and I've got that. And, oh, sorry, not that one. I've got not sine alpha, I've got sine theta. And I've got B. I've got B and I've got sine theta. So the only thing we need to do is somehow relate that all to H and sine alpha. So now we need to move into this triangle here. So we've got this side here, the highlighted side. We want to somehow relate it to alpha and to H. Okay, but what's nice is that this here is a right angle triangle because this pole is sticking straight up. This is level with the ground and that's the line going to it. So therefore that there is a right angle triangle. And then H, if we're looking at alpha, this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. So again, if that's the case, we've got Sakatoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I can say that sine of alpha is equal to the opposite side, which is her, over the hypotenuse, which is dB. So do you agree I can say therefore that H is equal to dB sine alpha, but we've just proven that dB is equal to this. So therefore I can say, and I'm going to write it up here, that H is equal to this stuff here, which is B sine theta over sine of theta plus beta multiplied by sine alpha. Ta-da! And there we go, we've proven it. Okay, so grade 12. So what are you looking for? You look you need to look at what you're given and what you have to prove, and then you need to actually try and see what the bridge is or where the bridge is. The whole thing about 2D and 3D trig is finding the bridge. Once you find the bridge, it's actually quite easy. Right, let's look at another question. It says, in the figure alongside Q, R, and S, Q, R, and S are three points in the same horizontal plane. So what I generally do is I take a light green, and like they've shown you, I color it in to show that that is the ground. It makes my life a little bit easier to see. Okay, then it says, PS represents a flag. So that's sticking up into the air. That is perpendicular with the horizontal plane. Okay, so it's perpendicular to the horizontal plane. It says determine QS in terms of alpha, beta, and X. Okay, so when alpha... There's X and that's beta. So they want it with respect to this triangle here. Okay. And the only thing we can use is either the sine rule or the cos rule because of the fact that we have no angles in it. Okay, no right angles in anything. But the cos rule is two sides and enclosed angles. So that means we have to use the sine rule. And they say determine QS in terms of alpha, beta, and X. So do you agree that QS over sine of alpha is equal to X over sine of beta? Okay, all we're doing is using this rule. Okay, that QS is equal to sine alpha I mean, over sine alpha is equal to x over sine beta. So therefore, we can say that QS is equal to x sine alpha over sine beta. So there's my answer. Ching. Now it says, hence determine PS. Hence determine PS. PS in terms of alpha beta 
um, that there is, what is that? That's theta and x. Okay, sorry, they meant that it's theta. Okay, alpha, beta, theta, and x. So what are we doing? They've basically helped us to show us that this was our bridge. And now they want an equation with respect to everything, alpha, beta, theta, and x. Okay, in other words, they want it with respect to QS. So if we do that, do you agree that this here is the opposite side? And this is the adjacent side. And QS is what we worked out. So QS is the adjacent side. So we've got tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we're going to be using tan. So we can say tan theta is equal to the opposite side, which is PS, over the adjacent side, which is QS. OK? But we know that QS is equal to that, so therefore we can say BAT PS is equal to QS, which is X sine alpha over sine beta multiplied by tan theta, multiplied by tan theta. And there you go, now we've got PS in terms of alpha, beta, theta, and X. There we go. Sure. Okay, let's see. Now we've got another question. And this question is a very nice question. It is taken out of an old exam paper question. Old exam paper. Not that old. We're going to take it nice and slowly and make sure that we can understand it and do it. Okay. So it says, in the figure, A, B, C, and D represents a large rectangular advertising board. So let's pretend there's some people on it. There's, and there's, I don't know, there's a flower. And there's a flower, I don't know. So there are things happening on this board, okay? Oh, really can't draw. Okay, a surveyor stands at point P. So Yara is a surveyor and he's standing at point P. Is in the same horizontal as the bottom of the uprights holding up the board. So this, these are uprights holding up the board, okay? And he's in the same horizontal plane, which means that this bit here must be the ground. So what we have is a guy standing up here and he's looking up to the ends of this big poster, okay, advertising board, okay? It says, um, okay, A, M, and D, N, A, M, and D, N, that's an A, there we go, A, M, and D, in a perpendicular triangle, P, M, N, okay, yes, in other words, they're perpendicular with the ground, they could have just said that, so we know that this is perpendicular with the ground, okay, it's perpendicular with the ground, Okay, um, also BM is two meters, okay, which means this also has to be two meters because I'm assuming that, yes, it says it's a rectangle. And it says PM is 10, PM is 10, as well as BM, okay, wait, BM is two, PM is 10, PN is 12, APM. A, P, M, that angle there, the angle of elevation is 35 degrees, right? But angle M, P, N, angle on the ground, this angle here, is 126,9 degrees. Okay, and what do they want? They want the length of A, B. They want the length of A, B. That want that length. So do you agree that if we could work out the length of the whole of the side and subtract the two meters, we would be sorted? Okay. Hmm, can we do that? Well, let's look for a triangle. Now, if we look very, very carefully, we can see that we've got this right angle triangle here. Okay, there's a right angle triangle. 
and we've got this side 10 which they've given us and we've got this angle here 35 degrees which tells us it's a p n it tells us the angle of elevation is 35 degrees so therefore we can use that in the triangle to get angle length a m and then we can get out length a b so we can say in the triangle a m c a m c we know we've got Sokotoa, Sokotoa. We want the opposite side. Okay, we've got the adjacent side. And that's it at the moment. Do we need the hypotenuse? No, we don't. We just need that. So do you agree that we want, we've got the adjacent side and we want the opposite side, so we could use cos. We can say cos of 35 degrees, there it is there, is equal to the opposite side, which we don't know, which is going to be AM, over the length here, which is the adjacent side. Hmm. Jason side over the hypotenuse. Why did I think I had the hypotenuse? <sighs> Sorry guys, silly mistake. We don't have the hypotenuse. We are going to use tan because we've got one this side, we've got the adjacent, this is the opposite, so we're going to use tan. So we're going to go tan of 35 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is AM, AM, all over the adjacent side, which is, which is angle, sorry, I'm just looking to see what I'm doing here, which is angle 10 meters. And that is triangle AMP. I don't know. I think I saw that it was a C. That's a P. Okay, so then if we look at this, we've got tan 35 degrees equal to AM over 10. So therefore, AM, AM, the whole of this is going to be 10 tan 35 degrees, right? So we can get the whole of that. So let's get our calculators out. So we can go 10 tan 35 and that is 7 comma 0, 0, 2. So we can just go that AM equals 7 meters. But we know that AB is 2 meters. But AB equals 2 meters. Therefore, we can say, I mean, sorry, the BM. BM is 2 meters. Therefore, AB is going to be 5 meters. Okay, yay. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Now it says calculate how far the survey is from the board. In other words, they want the length PT. PT. Okay. Sure. Okay, so what do we know? We know. Sorry, I'm just wondering why they gave us something. Okay, right. We know that this length here is 12 meters. We know that that is 10 meters, okay? Um, we know that the whole of this angle is 126.9 degrees. Okay, does that help us? Well, in a sense it does because we know we'll be able to work out the whole of this length here. Okay, but does it help us any other way? Okay, let's think about this. We can work out the whole of this length. Okay, using the fact that this angle here is 126.9 MPN. Okay, and the fact that this is 12 and that is 10. Okay, or what else could we do? I'm just having a look here. We know that this is, let's just read, check if there's any other information. Survey sending a point P is same as on the bottom of the right. Perpendicular to triangle PMN, AM and DN. Hang on, wait. AM. AM. You know, oh, that's it. AM and DN are perpendicular to um, triangle PMN. Okay, we knew that anyway. And. 
BM is 2 meters and PM is 10 meters and PN is 12 meters. And okay, so I'm convinced that we need to work out the whole of this line here. Okay. And then what? What could we do? Okay, yes, or yes, because then what we can do is we, we can work out that little angle there and then we can use Sokotoa to work out TP. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to erase the green writing. Okay, here we go. Right. So what I'm what am I saying? I'm saying that I'm going to redraw it here so you can see what I'm doing. We've got this triangle at the bottom here. Okay. Where this is N, that's over there. This is P over there. This is M over there. We can drop a perpendicular here. That's T. Okay, right. We know that this is 12 and this is 10 and we know the whole of that there is 126 comma 9 degrees and we want to know what this is. We want to know what length PT is. Okay, we want to know what is PT. But do you agree that they tell us that this is 90 degrees? So if I get the whole of this side. Okay, then do you agree? I will then be able to use that whole side and then either of these sides to get this angle here using the sine rule. And then I'll be able to use Sakatoa to get the length of that. Okay, we can't use the sine rule at the moment because we don't have this length. So our options are either the cos rule or the sine rule. And if you've got two sides and an enclosed angle, you need to use a cos rule. So the cos rule states that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So I want this side. So I'm going to let this little dude be a. Okay, which means it doesn't matter which order you do this in. Then this would do it can be B and this can be C. It doesn't really matter. As long as the angle we have is opposite the side we want. So if we can say A squared is equal to B squared, which is 144, plus C squared, which is 100, minus 2 times 12 times 10 cos of A, which is 126,9 degrees. Okay, so then we can say, well, we've got 244 minus 200 cos of 126,9 degrees is equal to A squared. So now we need to pop that in our calculators. So let's get that out. And we can say 244 minus 200 cos of 126 point nine close bracket equals and that is 364.08 but that is a squared so I'm going to square it my answer and I get 19.08 so a is 19,08 so the whole of this is 19,08 meters right meters now we want but we want this length here tp so now you can either use this triangle here, TNP, or we can use triangle TMP, it doesn't matter, to either get this angle or to get that angle, and then we use socket toe. But I, since I've said I was going to work out N, I'm going to work out N. So I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to use that side and that angle and that side and get that angle there, right? So I'm going to say, we want angle, remember? So we're going to say angle N, so it'll be P and M, P and M, and it's the sine of it, over its opposite length, which is 10, is equal to sine of 126,9 over 19,08. So therefore, sine of angle P and M 
is equal to 10 sine 126 comma 9 over 19 comma 08. And now again, I need to use my calculator. So I'm going to say, right, we've got 10 sine 126.9 close bracket equals divided by 19.08 equals and then we need to find the actual angle so what do we do we go shift sign shift sign of the answer close bracket equals and we get 24.78 so this angle here is 24,78 degrees. Awesome. Because now we can use the right angle triangle. We can say, right, we have got this right angle triangle here. And we are going to use that to find TP. So we're going to use SAR Toa, okay, we've got the hypotenuse, we want the opposite side, so we're going to use sine. So we're going to go sine of 24.78, 24,78 is equal to the opposite side, which is TP, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. Therefore, TP is equal to 12 sine of 24.78 which equals and now we need our calculators out again we're going to go 12 sine oh sorry let's just get this again 12 sine of 24.78 close bracket equals and it becomes 5.03 so that's 5,03 meters. So the distance the surveyor is actually standing 5.03 meters away from the board. Sure. Okay. So that was quite a nice question because you had to use the cos rule, you had to use the sine rule, and then you had to use Sakatoa. So it was actually a very, very nice question. It would be worth a lot of marks. Okay. Now we've got another 3D question. We've got AB, which is a vertical tower. We've got BC and D, which is on the ground. Okay, so again, color it in. It says the angle of elevation from C to A is theta, and BCD happens to equal 120 degrees, and AB equals CD, which equals X. Okay, that AB equals CD, which equals X. So that is equal to that. Right. It says determine BC, 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 in terms of theta and x. So I'm going to be looking at this triangle here. Okay, that triangle there. Because it says determine BC in terms of theta and x. And because it's a right angle triangle, I'm going to be looking at Sakatoa. Sakatoa. So, do you agree we've got the opposite side? We want the adjacent side. So, therefore, we need to be losing tan. So, we can say the tan of theta is equal to the opposite side, which is x over the adjacent side, which is BC. Therefore, we can say BC is equal to X over tan theta. And there we go. We've stated BC in terms of tan theta. And I've just realized I made a typo. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a squared. <laughs> okay, right. Now it says, show that BD, ooh, BD, BD, is equal to the square root of 1 plus tan squared theta, 1 over tan squared theta plus 1 over tan theta plus 1. Sure. So they want something to do with tan squared theta, tan theta, and 1, and we need it with respect to x, okay? We have BC. We've just worked that out. 
okay b c is x over tan theta we want b d okay and we need to prove it with respect to hmm okay fine tan so this is not at all a right angle triangle do you agree that bd is not part of a right angle triangle at all okay so obviously we want to do something with bd and bc since bc is x over tan theta and that would be there okay so we want to do something with this side and we want to do something with this side okay we also know that ab is equal to cd ab is equal to cd which we need to play with, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, great tools. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna leave the second part of this question for you guys to try for homework, or you know what I mean, for a challenge. And then what we'll do is we'll start with this in the next lesson, which will be tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna carry on with this 2D and 3D trick, and we're gonna start with this question, and then we're gonna move on. So please, if you've got a chance, please just try doing this question, just the second part. It says, show that BT is equal to X multiplied by the square root of one over tan squared plus one over tan theta plus one. Try it at home for yourself, and then I will go through it with you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day.